Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech Here. This video covers the fundamental of string. I am going to discuss how to declare a string, its syntax, some of the common string handling functions, all with complete programs in a step-by-step, easy-to-understand manner. So, let's start. In English, we call a group of characters words. In programming, we call a group of characters string. A string make it very easy to handle words in programs. Let's see how that's the case with the following program. Here we are reserving five location in memory and storing character B, E, S and T in those locations. This is how B, E, S and T are stored in reserve location. As you can see, it's not a convenient way to store characters. Writing each character in a word separately, separating them by comma, putting them in a single inverted commas, lots of hassles, right? However, a group of characters can be treated as a single unit and can be placed at once, like here. A far more convenient way. This is how T, E, S and T are stored in reserved locations. You might say, what's this? We didn't mention this. Yes, you didn't mention this, but when storing a word or string, computer automatically adds a null character at the end. A null character is a character having ASCII value 0. Why a computer automatically places a null character at the end? Uh, good questions. Maybe I'll answer that in future videos, but not in this videos. Okay, let's move ahead. If you want, you can do this. We can omit the size of array. Computer itself determines the size of an array from the number of words. Remember, because computer automatically puts a null character at the end, the size of the array, as you expect, is not 4, but 5. See how inconveniently we had to get each character using a loop if we are not allowed to treat a group of characters as single unit. Needs to type each character in a word separately. Now see how conveniently we can get a word using a single statement. So we can get whole word at once. Remember syntax, earlier we were getting each word individually therefore percent C. Now we are getting a word or in programming term string therefore percent s similarly before we used ampersand now we don't need again see how inconveniently we had to display each characters using a loop 
if we were not allowed to treat a group of character as single unit. Now see how conveniently we can display a word using a single statement. Remember to use percent s not percent c. This is how being able to treat a group of characters as a single unit called a string in programming makes it easy to store, get and display words. Here is our program. You might want to pause the video for a few moments and go through a code. This is the output we get because of this program. To do view these things regarding strings which we explained earlier, our group of characters or words. You don't need to write your own functions or a lot of functions to do different things to strings have been already written and they are in a file called string.s. Therefore, all you need to do is this so that you can use functions placed in the file string.s. Let's get one word. Let's say we entered London. Let's get another word. Let's say we entered UK. This is the function which changes any uppercase characters in a word into lowercase ones. Remember, S1 contains a word London all in uppercases. Hence, when we print up S1, we get this. This is the function. We changes any lowercase characters in a word into uppercase ones. S2 contains a word UK in all lowercases. Hence, when we print F S2, we get this. This is the function which concatenates or joins the second word with the first one. S1 contains the word London, while S2 contains the word UK. Therefore, when we print F S1, we get this. This is the function which finds the length of a string, that is, how many characters are in a word. S1 contains a word London UK. Hence, when we print F length, we get this. This is the function. which compare two words. If two words are same, it returns zero, otherwise some other number. Since words are not same here, we get this. This is the function that copies word in a second array to the first one. S1 contains a word London UK, this is copied in S3. Hence, when we print F S3, we get this. This is the function that reverses individual characters in a word. S3 contains a word London UK. Hence, after reversing, when we print F S3, we get this. So see, this is how easy function in string.s have made things. All you need to know is the name of the functions. That's all.
So how's today's video? Please leave your comments and suggestion below. I would be posting videos like this on furious programming topics. So please do consider subscribing to my channel. Also please don't forget to hit like button and share this video. That's much for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next one.